Today I'm going to be putting together this drywall hoist and maybe showing you how to use it if I can figure it out. You should have three pieces right here. Uh, to rent this from Menards was actually only $12 for four hours. Menards is cheaper than any rental place near us. So, went to Menards, done. Alright, so first, scan the legs. Take this, expand it out while holding this down, and eventually it clicks into place. And then you'll see it's locked when you can't put it back. And then there's a small thing in here that keeps it rolling. Cool. This locks down into a little V here. That interior V. <gasps> Did it get you? No. Oh. So, the bottom here has to hook into this V here, and then this here has to overlap this V here at the top. Not quite as easy as I thought it would be. Get. Oh, you'll know when it's in there. And then now that this is on there, you extend the wheel to its working position. And lock it down. Right, I guess this is the brake. Pretty, pretty straightforward so far. And then the other part <laughs> just kind of sits in there. No security at all, it just kind of uses gravity to sit in there. I really expected there to be a pin or something, but no. Do not remove this big pin here, the one that's flat on the side. That's, that's the main pivot pin. This is the one over here that you want to remove, the one that looks like it's made to be pulled out. That one will allow you to pivot it. Like so. To extend these arms, there's a spring-loaded clip here. Pull on that, and they'll come out, and they lock. Just like so. And you want to make sure that you extend these evenly. Don't have one side going far out and the other one not extended at all because it'll tip right over. Um, Alright, so I forgot to record the last part of that video, but... So the drywall is hung. We only had four sheets to hang on the ceiling in here. Uh, it took us about two hours, but only because we didn't leave a lot of room on the edges when we cut the drywall. So, little tip, if you're doing the ceiling, give yourself a little slack, since when you cut it that close to the wall, it's really hard to get it up if your walls aren't perfectly square. So yeah, our measurement here was like 10 feet, 10 inches or something. We should have cut it to like 10 foot 9, so instead we cut it to like 10 foot nine and a half. It, no, just don't do that. Um, so the process of returning the drywall hoist was really easy. And it cost us 12 bucks and the drywall is hung and oh my god it was so much easier than trying to do it without uh, without the tool. So go ahead and rent it. Save yourself some hassle. Anyway, thanks for watching.